first Top 5 Tuesday of 2018, which is very exciting. And today's theme is going to be the Top 5 series I want to finish in this year. I'm excited. There is five on the list, obviously, because it's Top 5 Tuesday, but these are all series that I just really, really want to finish and get them done. And then this can add to my reading goal of trying to finish series if I'm trying to finish these series, you know? So I'm just, I'm excited to get into it. Number five on my list is to finish the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy or whatever it's called by V.E. Schwab. I have read the first two books and I only have the last one left. And even though this is not my favorite thing, I do have the third book sitting there unread. So I just want to read it so it's, it's done and it's out of the way and I never have to think about this again so I'm really I am really hoping that the last book can redeem itself for me because it's just this is not my favorite thing I just didn't like this book that much and you're all probably thinking why are you trying to read the last book then but I just I just want to know I just I just want to know what's gonna happen and at least then I can have read the book and you know Okay, number four on my list is to finish reading The Illuminae Files. Yes, I forgot what it was called for a second. But this is by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman, and I have Gemma sitting on my shelf. I have pre-ordered the Obsidio box, which is very exciting. So I am set. I am ready to read these. So I have read the first book, so I just have the next two to read. And they're very easy to read, though. So this shouldn't be something hard to do. Like, I should really be able to read this in not much time. Like, I read this one in a day, but it was for a readathon, so I just was really trying to get through it. But I think I sh it should be easy enough when literally some pages are just photos or notes or little things. So I'm excited anyway, though, because, like, I read this, like, l not even last year, the year before, and it's been so long since I've, like, read anything from this series. So I just, I need to do it. Okay, number three on my list is to finish the Daughter of Smoke and Bones series by Lainey Taylor. This was my first read of 2016, and it's been a whole year, and I have not picked up the rest of the series. Like, what is this? What is this? Or was it my first read? Actually, I think Lady Midnight was, this was my second read. It was my second read of the year, but it was very early, a year ago, you know? And I, I have not read the rest of it. I was just too scared to after the outcome of this book. But I'm, I think I'm going to be ready soon enough to read it. And I'll also read the novella Knights of Cake and Puppets. I think that's what it's called. So I'm very excited to get back into this world. And I just want to finish the trilogy and read more of Lady Taylor's books. And I just want to know what's going to happen with these characters in the world. So obviously I really want to finish it. Number two on my list is The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. And this is just a given. You know, there's only one more book getting published unless she does novellas or more or whatever. Companion novels. Like I wouldn't even mind. But really the main series is ending this year and I am so ready so ready and I've just put it on the list because I know I'm gonna finish it I'm gonna start reading it the minute it's in my hands and I just can't even I just can't I can't even can't even but I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen yet very scared her last finale disappointed me I don't know how I feel about going into this book because it could be the same outcome and I'm gonna be seriously disappointed with her work again I've got my expectations at about a medium here because it's either gonna be really good or it's gonna be really good just not really good at the end you know kind of thing but I'm excited yet very very scared but still it's something I really want to finish and number one on my list is the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer I have this at number one because I've got three more books to read in this series and two of those are like novellas type books and I've it's been they've been sitting there for like a year and I haven't done it yet I'm just gonna push myself to try and do it this year because I don't know why actually I do know why it's because the last book is over 800 pages that's why this has not been achieved yet but I am hoping to achieve it so I'm I really want to finish it so I've got it at number one so it's hopefully gonna motivate me to really want to finish it because I'm excited I want to know what's gonna happen and I want to read all the novellas have it all looking pretty on my shelf and just have it finished because it's just been sitting there forever. So these are the series that I want to complete this year and there's not actually too many books that I really need to read so this should be manageable, hopefully. I'm saying hopefully right now. I made a video like this at the start of last year and I only read about two and a half of the series that I put on that list and that's still better than nothing but hopefully this year I'll do a bit better. But anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!